Welcome back, my friends, to the Vinyl Countdown here on It's Vinyly Mine. Yes, the penultimate episode for our second annual Vinyl Countdown. Hope you've enjoyed this series of reviewing 12 vinyl in 12 days as we count down to the end of the year. And today we are looking at a classic soundtrack that was re-released September 29th, 2017. And yes, we're looking at Christine, the original motion picture score by none other uh, than Mr. Uh, John Carpenter. This is from uh, Verse Saraband 3020675001. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking very forward to this special release that they did. Uh, and I, I love John Carpenter's scores. We've covered many of his albums here on the show, as so you may have guessed. And, yeah, so uh, I'm ready to drop the needle, get old Bat Blade going, and uh, crack this open to see what it looks like. So shall we? Okay, so here we are, folks, Christine, and uh, yeah, a new artwork, John Carpenter's classic score, Blue Vinyl. hey -o! colored vinyl. We know how that goes here on this show, usually. Uh, so let's uh, crack the plastic as best we can and uh, take a look with, you know the name, uh, <laughs> at this up-close look at this release of Christine. Now, it's in association with Alan Holworth. Uh, Holworth, uh, that name may sound familiar. These cup pair here, this couple, <laughs> this pair here uh, worked together with uh, each other in uh, the Escape from New York soundtrack uh, that we looked at a while back. So yeah, so we've got a great dynamic duo in the music creation. Can't wait to hear it on this vinyl. So uh, digging the uh, cover that we have here, the looking of the car grill and emblem with the blood on here as well. Uh, the smoke is a nice touch too on here. It, it just, really, it, it's simple yet creepy and I'm just loving the colors that they picked for it. Then of course here is that iconic Christine logo here and with uh, the music by John Carpenter in association with Alan Howarth. And I, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, but yeah, I dig it quite a bit. Uh, not too involved. They didn't put like faces or anything on it, but it's fitting for the movie for sure. And, and still has that creepy vibe to it. So as far as the spine goes, uh, not a thick spine. It is not a gatefold, but still a solid spine on it. And then on the back, uh, keeping it kind of simple again with uh, this release. We still again have the movie uh, logo up here, the original motion picture score at the top. I like how they have the shadow here. And uh, then we have the uh, side one track listing, obviously, and side two here. A lot of tracks, which I'm very excited to hear. W who produced it, of course, credits for the vinyl and credits for uh, the film. I do like the headlights too at the bottom. Uh, that's a nice little classy touch there uh, that is also, a, it gives it a, a, a very creepy vibe. So overall, yeah, very interesting release, keeping the cover simple. Uh, uh, showing again though, how these releases for special, you know, uh, release of older classic soundtracks, how they vary so much uh, depending on who's putting them out and, you know, how much they produce with these. So, yeah, I always find that interesting, uh, but still not disappointed. A very cool artwork in general. Now, we'll look at the inside here at the, oh, okay, now I'm digging the record label. So let's pull this out. What's interesting with this is that Stephen King's popularity was so big at the time Christine came out, they had done the book, uh, I mean, excuse me, they had done the movie before the book was even finished or published, I should say. Uh, so yeah, oh, check that colored vinyl out. That is sexy. I'm loving that blue color. Uh, looks like it's a very clean pressing. I can't wait to hear it. We've got side one and two listed on this label, on this side. And why? Because they've got a very cool label on the other side. Check it out. It's a speed gauge from Christine. That's very cool. I, I dig that. With a mileage of 666. Eh? I love it. I love it. That's classy. This is a classy release. While there's not a huge amount involved with it, 
I am liking uh, the classy feel of this. So now, as always, we are going to take a small break here. We are going to listen to this pressing, and I'll come back with you uh, to you for, yeah, the quality and what tracks I really enjoyed. So, as always, stay tuned. Hey, everyone. You want to help us decide what we review here on It's Vinyl Mind? Then head on over to www.patreon.com slash specialmarkproductions. It's our Patreon page where we have three great tiers for you to join. If you join our top tier, you get early access to all the videos we post on YouTube. Plus, you get to participate in a poll to decide on what we review on It's Vinyly Mine. And you get a poll to decide what the VIP episode will be for the month exclusively for our patrons. We got a lot of great content there, so head on over there and we hope to see you soon. And we are back. Yes, thank you for sticking around, folks. Just got done listening to this vinyl release of the original motion picture score to Christine. And yes, it is classic, classic Carpenter. You know, you know he is just so talented and you know you're getting his vision when you see his films because he just does so much on the film as far as the production goes. He doesn't just direct, he writes, he does the scoring and the scoring for for Christine is so appropriate. I loved this creepy score. It's not full of a lot of sounds. It is more of that eerie, atmospheric, creepy, really enhancing the horror that is on the screen. I love Football Run and Kill Your, Kill Your Kids track on here. It is uh, it was fantastic. A really great. Uh, you know, it starts off just kind of uh, you know and it builds up it's got that electronic synth sound that john carpenter is so known for and it really it just has this great build up and it just gets you going and and gets the uh the blood flowing and and you know maybe a few hairs standing up on end uh we also got a uh, christine attacks that one is a fun one as well yeah i mean it's a great soundtrack especially if you like carpenter's stuff if you're not a fan of electronic uh synth type of uh, soundtracks uh, this one may not appeal to you as much, but it appealed to me. I really, I really dug it quite a bit. Now, what I found interesting is there's a little lo logo down here on the lower left uh, that says limited edition red vinyl, but it's blue vinyl. What's going on? I, I don't know. Maybe they just accidentally mislabeled this release, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, it's minor. I just found that quirk kind of interesting. But there you have it, folks. Christine uh, soundtrack. The pressing is great, while the release maybe not so involved, uh, but it's still effective and fitting. And yeah, this front artwork. I tell you, this front artwork, though, is, is phenomenal. I really, it sticks out and very happy to have this as part of the collection. And there you have it. Our second last vinyl countdown episode for the year thank you for sticking around please subscribe if you haven't already hit the bells and whistles and all of that it uh, looks like we're just going to miss 2,000 subscribers on the channel this year but all my subscribers who have stuck around with me thank you i hope you all have a safe and fun new year and come back tomorrow for our final special unboxing for the last second annual vinyl countdown episode i think Appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, remember, it's not yours. It's vinyl mine. And I'll catch you on the flip side.